Hi, I'm Learning Newbie. Today we have I didn't know that this was animated because I don't have it turned on on my phone, but that's cute. No, we have a uh Final Fantasy 12 event. Nothing around the character per se, actually. A lot of these fights are all judges, I noticed. Judge and or judge adjacent. So, there's your theming. But, if, the draw banners are sort of Larsa and Ash related, so there is that. Take it as you will. Adding little extra words onto the end there, making a harder job for me later down the line when I edit. Yeah, I kind of just threw something together for the uh, the double plus and really didn't have a hard time at all. It was very surprising. Ooh, hold up thought. No, I did re-up this after we were done last week. This is at the proper volume. Oh, God, my head. Maybe I should go take something real quick. Nah, nah, I feel fine. Well, I feel fine enough. And if I don't have to take something, then that's fine. That's what I would prefer. Tire. Resistant to everything except ice, huh? 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 What can we find that's ice based? Always Ragnarok. games did the composer for 12 work on? Other than the Tactics Advance games. Since those kind of... Ah, here we go. No share. Pretty similar OSTs. But I feel like this music sounds really familiar. And who knows? When you look into that stuff, you sometimes find some real revelations, like... Man, I still can't believe, but the more and more I think about it... it sounds like Star Wars, but well, that would make sense, considering the story of... FF12. Anyway. Um, what's it called? Uh, found out recently that the composer for the Lunar games also did Ace Attorney, and you go... Oh, that's weird. And then you think about some of the songs and you go, no, that makes sense. Hey, what's up? What do you mean, whatever the hell that is? That's Tyrant. Everybody knows Tyrant. Hayato Matsuo. 
Shenmue, Ray Earth, Front Mission 3, Got him. Alright, I'm gonna still keep looking up some of these. This was the composer for fucking. Uh. Wow, jeez. What is. Um, the, the, the first season of JoJo was this composer. Okay, alright. Stream. The battle tendency was part two. Battle, sh bloody stream was the name of the song for the anime. What the fuck is the name of part one? Why can't I remember that? Right. right bloody stream was OST uh, or OP two. Battle tendency is part two. I cannot remember. Name of part one? What the fuck is the name of part one? Phantom Blood, thank you! Jeez. I could tell you the name of any of the other ones off the top of my head, but I could not remember Phantom Blood. Blood. Oh, t -Nax, thank you for the host. Mercury Keeper so far is moving along at a good pace. We're very early in our night though. So there's gonna be a lot of very simple fights and then less simple as we go. <laughs> this guy though. Who was the most recent character added to Record Keeper? It was a Type Zero, right? No, actually, the most two recent characters that were added were the World of Final Fantasy characters, the uh, the the weird I don't know person who likes coffee, and the terrible Gremlin. The gremlin who has a verbal tick that was extremely made by somebody that went, Verbal ticks are endearing, right? Just like, it's anything? Yeah, okay, cool. Localize it directly, right? Alright, rad. I watched exactly one cutscene of World of Final Fantasy during the quick look. And immediately went, ah, I hate this character. <laughs> Weird. Don't worry, uh, Nelson and Wolf. I am extremely in the, uh, I'm extremely in the same boat of, yo, give me, give me Final Fantasy USA. Put Ben in the game.
Huh. You absorb everything, don't you? Well, it's a good thing. I brought non-elemental. Literally absorbs everything except fire, lightning, ice. I figured as much. So that's a good thing. Again, I packed on elemental. Ufo, getting some chunk from the emulator there. It'll go away. <sighs> Wall ship bosses worked in base 12 because you had a uh, a lot of stuff you could do. Wall ship bosses work less in record keeper. Now, give me a properly done wall shift boss. If you want to, like, talk real quick, like, let me turn the chair around and, and rap with all you kids. If there's a way to make a wall shift boss interesting, the main thing is give it a punishment mechanic, actually force you to execute on the wall shift. Um, or... Even more so, uh, you could not punish for the, the wall shift mechanic, but reward the player for doing it correctly. Make it part of the mechanic. Make the boss get weaker if you acknowledge the wall shift mechanic. Well, that boss existed. Yeah, here's a glove item that is ridiculously outdated at this point, but hey, it's four star accessories. Or what? Are we three or four years into the game? We're four years. Yes. Which reminds me, Japan should be having the, uh, the fifth anniversary pretty soon. Because, uh, let me, uh, do some... Mm, should be the build-up for the fifth anniversary. I, I think the fifth anniversary for them is in, like, September, October. So I can't wait for, um... Oh man, I just had the realization that 5th anniversary is going to be nothing but Synchro Soul Breaks. Well, not, you know, not nothing but, but there's going to be a lot of them on there. Brain farting a little bit. Yeah, no, I remember Nightmare Fights. Mainly because all the Nightmare Fights were really good and smart and well designed. Well, alright. I take back that last one a little bit. Some of them had problems. Don't worry about it. Look, Kate's safe right here. He knows what he's doing. I do need a Hyper Mighty. There
Yo. What is this song? Oh yeah, I heard the Infernal Raid again, as with most of them, and it's why I actually really dislike the Infernal Raids. Uh, the Infernal Raid this week has some interesting mechanics, which it sure would be cool if it wasn't locked behind the Infernal Raid, which is incredibly unfun to do. Yeah, the Infernal Raids are the ones that only give Gil. So... Pff, no point in doing them. I'm not gonna slam my head against something for four hours for money. It's weird that Record Keeper can have timed things that give rewards. And it makes me feel bad for not getting them. But when... Grand Blue comes around with, like, the proud fights that I can't pull off. I don't feel bad for not being able to pull those off. It just feels like, oh well, maybe next time. And I don't know what the difference there is. Did I ever punch that turtle? No. I was very tired. So I, uh, I just ignored it. We don't know yet. We can't just say that this fight only exists. They might still pull out something wild un that we're not prepared for. Well, if they can stand up to a four hit guard ringer. Ultimate water. Well. Maybe less so. So I like that thing on the Discord about all the uh, the double cast Mars from Reddit in the uh, lab. Uh, yo, I'm really thinking about picking up that Shantoto one.
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean like immediately. Obviously, I'm gonna wait till I perfect. Because I could just luck into something from there. That's the big warning. That's that's the bullet point. How many people we got here? 40? I think about. Yeah, 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 yeah. 50. Wow. Hi, everyone. Um, so, that's a big thing. Uh, the lab is really cool and everything. Do be aware about grabbing everything immediately that you want. Because, uh, Lords of Realm, or whatever it's fucking called. Yeah, Super Soul Brace and Blow are safe. Um, but, you know, Lords of the Realm and, uh, the Forty Pool and the, the, the Guaranteed Nine are coming. So, there's a whole bunch of garbage that you can get real fast. So keep that in mind. Don't go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one, the tier one lunges start to become extremely plentiful. Uh, but then remember that you'll be able to trade those for synchro upgrades later, so you better start saving that. God, I hate those posts on Reddit. Not 12 hours after a lab was released, people were posting on Reddit, don't spend your stuff, you need to hoard for five months. For that one relic. That one relic. That relic. Five months from now. Because of this guy. Speaking of which, I'm going to lean in here real quick. If y'all did not listen to uh, Season 2, a podcast of the Galactic Hero, in which they did Jigano, you should listen to that. And if you're not... Whoa, that's wrong. If you're not listening to it now, when they're doing Gundam Wing, y'all... Should. <laughs> Y'all should. Y'all should. Gundam Wing sucks. <laughs> Gundam Wing is really bad. Semi real fight coming up here. Semi. Yeah, like, it's always weird looking ahead and stuff like that because Six Star Magicite, no, oh, Orlando Awakening is, sucks now. They will probably give him an in element and then that becomes busted again. I say that though, they're still releasing new character stuff that isn't playing into the the meta. Alright, so send me a real fight here, so let's actually talk about the fight a little bit. Uh, Judge in the back, can't remember his name because FF12 names, um, is Geese. Geese. Is uh, semi beefy. And he's got his three boys with him. Pronounced geese. Got it. Um, so, do beware. Does like to use greater barrier, so you're going to need to dispel that. Or else you're going to do, like, shit all damage against him. The boys are tauntable. Well, to an extent. 
because Pinello definitely has his haunt material on. This should do some damage. That's all I like to say. Yes, that is another thing. Normally, you don't have to rush down the enemies. I recommend it, as they deal some pretty beefy attacks. But the um, the adds are actually uh, not required to win. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, everything must be defeated here. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Misspoke. But the ads do actually go down fast enough. But uh, Geese does like to re up his barrier constantly. I. I will frequently give er, 12 bullshit for, I will, all right, hold up, let me back up. Hi, I'm the wandering newbie. <laughs> uh, I will give 12 shit a lot of time for various dumb things that it does. And I'll actually continue in this regard because, uh, man, 12 has some really dumb looking weapons, doesn't it? Yeah, like his thing in in Geese's left hand there, right right here, is supposed to be a uh, some sort of like parrying knife or something. Like, I guess you would catch weapons in the notches and then go from there. Also, who you deal big boy damage when you get weak. Luckily, you do fall apart pretty fast. But um. Whether it is practical isn't to argue here. The thing is, that weapon looks real stupid, doesn't it? Anyway, let's finally step out of the, uh, the looking stupid was an issue. They would have stopped way before 12. Look. Titus is a good boy. Well, I semi-read what this boss does, so let's just go right in. Don't spoil it for me. Did the, uh, the, the inaugural run of Fiesta finish up yet? Why is my phone going off? Hello? So I was just thinking about that. I think last time I checked some people were in World 3. 
But, like, I think some people were in World 3 and some people were still in World 2, so I think, like, that was just starting up. <coughs> it felt like, at least. Alright, what do I need here? I need a fucking, a uh, lamp. You know, yeah, this feels appropriate. That'll get the work done. It's still going, but the first player has entered the rift. That sounds about right. People load up this fight and immediately get flashbacks of hell. Of days gone past in which we could actually use interesting mechanics to do things. What if you taunted untauntable attacks? Traditionally, bring Cecil to this fight. Didn't people Vitality Zero cheese this fight due to being difficult? That did not exist at anymore at the time. Vitality Zero, I think, significantly died before Ultimate Fights came out. Come on. There we go. I will say, I really like, in like, catch it when we get into the fight here, I really like the aura on Vossler. It looks really good. Good aura. It's not the generic one that they're like using on the the two mini judges over there. That's a big boy aura. There you go. Oh man, that's a... That's particle effect, alright. Oh! Boys are tanky, huh? That's fine. We have big weapons. For their big guts. <laughs> yeah, we'll know when the uh, when the shield wears off for sure. So, one of the uh, the nasty little tricks that this fight does is Vossler is entirely physical. Well, this is happening. Bart showed up today. It's been a while, Bart's. There were two guards here. 
there's a reason I don't bring Bart's too often. He's very good, you see. Let's add more Aras to the mix. So I'm interested in how nasty Vossler will get once we get him uh, lower. Yeah, that was the other thing. I was actually going to run a mage team on this until I read 100% chance to counter white and black magic with reflect. So just don't, mm, don't, uh, don't run a mage team, says Vossler. Yeah, we could go the really old school strat and make a, a bounce house. Which I think it has been years of Record Keeper time since I've used the mechanic phrase bounce house. Huh. Is that good? Ooh. Ooh. That's that's big boy number there. We have answers to that, but that was some big boy number. Enrage is an attack buff as well. Well. And here I thought Wall might have worn off. Bossler, you have literally have one gimmick, don't you? Man, Vossler. You used to be cool, Vossler. <laughs> well. Are the ads actually a threat? Oh, yes, that's fair. I mean, I, I came equipped with, uh, with slow resist, so I would hope that the slow wind would hit me. All right, Gabranth though, surely Gabranth is frightening. Surely. That's him. That's 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 the judge. That's John. Bronth. I 
I point over to the side. That's the guy. That that's him. That's the guy on the case. That uh, there he is. this music in somewhere too is this the the torment 2.0 music i feel like it's not i thought torment 2.0 was that song from ff11 this is moat dungeon there we go that's why i never remember because i literally go in moat dungeon like once oops i uh I attempted to open my alert thing. That's not right at all. That's in, that's incredibly the wrong element. Yeah, Torment is Shadow Lord. The Lords of Shadow, if you will. Yeah, it's my favorite thing about this boss, is it starts with haste, but has uh, 650 speed, and that means that the haste does not matter at all. You can just ignore it. Wholesale. That haste is the fakest thing in the world. Brain is uh, turning the hogs here. You may be noticing back at Bronze Hell. <laughs> I, my, my brain got caught between health and HP. I want to say like HP. Anyway, you may be noticing that Cabron's uh, HP is going down pretty fast. Don't worry about So some of Gabron's gimmick series, he likes to do a lot of uh, percentile attacks. Uh, I think almost all of them are max HP. It's only like 25%, but uh, just do note that they can kill you. Do not ignore them.
And that's why his stuff is going down so fast. Yeah, he's mad. But now I'm rude. That's a blind? It's not. It's either not 100% chance or it is 100% chance, but not auto hit. Obviously, it's not auto hit. Uh, so accessories actually do matter. Bring accessories. It just stops that altogether. There's more of that percentile damage. No real avoiding that, it just happens. I believe it's ultimate sentence. There's an attack mag down. So be wary for that. That or both of the sentences are. I remember those are significant. That, that is the bee. That's 50% max HP hit. He does that on transition. Once again, below 50% after he has hit 50% the first time. So his very weak phase, he knows that uh, that big 50% max HP. Really, anything outside of Gibrant's max HP attacks aren't dramatically threatening one way or the other. Y'all, y'all really? Y'all doing this? Fuck you. Let's get another swing at that boss. Turn waves. What if we didn't have quite the perfect setup? To an extent, because Vaughn's still going to be there. Oh shit. You see that? It's there. That's the number. Actually, no, it's not. I still need like 10 mithril. That just means we'll be ready by next week. I believe it is. Just let me let me bring up the calculator here. Do some math real quick. Five times seventeen plus two fifty. Oh, that doesn't seem right. Why did I have an extra fifty in there?
Why did I have an extra 50 in that calculation? Five times seventeen is eighty five. Because they're only five mithril each, right? It's not like fifteen mithril each, it's five mithril each for the, the goofball pools. Oh, I was thinking too long. Where's the extra, extra 50 come from? Are there any other banners? There's no like really lucky draws I'm probably gonna pull on. Well, I'll keep with the original strategy of 385. I feel like that was a, was a number that I was thinking about for a reason. I could have mis... Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I could have miscalculated that, but... Um, I feel like that was in my brain for a reason. Probably a lucky draw or something. The chain lucky banner? Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what it was. But that's the one that's up right now. I don't want to pull on that. Divine Veil, where are you at? Actually, real talk, where... Where are my Divine Veils at? Yo! Where... Are... My... There we go. There we go. Huh, <sighs> alright. Now the real power move is if I get conversations between Bosch and Vossler for doing this. Even though Bosch isn't in this fight, so never mind. I 
thought I had Bosch with me, and then I remembered I didn't. Boschler, if you will. Also, this isn't a fight against Bossler. What am I talking about? Oh. We're good. We're fine. Is there a magicite tomorrow? I'd believe it. Well, this whole team's online now. this onslaught. Oh, fuck, that's right! Whack! The wackest! We fixed it, but I forgot that refresh actually removes all debuffs. I forgot to equip that on those people. Oops. That's fine. Joke's on you, I expected this. Yeah, Renew also removes breaks. Y'all worried about me, you don't understand that I got like 20 tricks up my sleeves.
Time to make the potions. Them going all in on Larsa being a healer just because he throws around 5 million potions was actually the smartest move they ever did in the entirety of Record Keeper. Well, let me wrap that up a little early. I'm gonna, uh, slide into something real fast. I haven't changed too, too much. Oh, they're making a few things. Hold up. Hold up. This is new. Is there for torments as well? Neat. Yo, record keeper, could you not today? Oh, well, that loads in. Gonna get some gross noises coming in now for a little bit. Alright, now let me scroll. Don't be rude. Like I said, I have adjusted one or two things here. Namely, this exists. How many five star modes am I sending on? Some. Yeah, let's say about 1k each.
Yeah, you know what? Let's look at the comparable moats. The answer is enough for both the characters that I have in that party that aren't Dove. I just forget what your diving fucking does. Garnet, what is your fucking dive? It's summon magic. Yeah, they're both trace LMRs. I just can't remember what this one does. Trance. Delay of actions. Eh, that's fine. It's still an HP refill. That's the big thing. Yeah, we're good. I... See, the reveal here is I barely... I barely dive, uh... Casters. Dina, please put in a buy up to this node option. Maybe that's in there in Japan. I don't know. All I know is it's not in there right now. Uh, some major things that happened off screen in between the first time I attempted this and now is that I, uh, I'll be real. I am almost thinking of just closing this down and doing it on my phone because I'll be able to do it faster on my phone. Also, here's the other reason why I generally don't dive characters. I don't do much 5-star Magicites because I find them to be bad. I hate 5-star Magicites, but it's one of those things if I do, I do want to do the... the ugh. I just did like a porky pig there. I just fell over all my words. I do want to do all of the content eventually. Yeah, I remember Shantoto's dive is like a spell haste or some shit. Stat up spell haste. Oh. Resistance down. Well, Geos is a mainly physical fight, so that's fine, honestly. It's defense and resistance. Also, this LMR to get zero use out of on her because I use her as a witch. Not fly magic. Witch. Fly magic is witch? What? I'm sorry, what? Oh, do I need to buy this one first? That's dumb. Which is considered black magic damage. Interesting. Okay. 
little things that I forget over the years. Yeah, but I don't run a lot of uh, mage teams. Nine times out of ten, I will run a physical team instead of a mage team. As you've seen in videos, for all intents and purposes. Uh, I just find mage teams to be way harder to keep alive. But now we're tanky. You assume Garnet Chain. You assume wrong. Wait. You assume right. <laughs> actually, actually, you're right. Garnet Chain is in there. Wait, hold up, hold up, back up. Whoop. Yeah, turn the shoes on. Do a lot of bosses have reflect? No, I just... am bad at running mage teams. I strongly recommend Garnet Slot 1. Yeah, that's right, because that's where the dark hits. I was running Ash there before because uh, Ash was tank here. Let's swap those accessories too. Yeah, that's the main thing that makes mage teams really hard to run for sort of gimmicky stuff that I do, is that there are three caster schools. That's it. Doesn't Chantoto also refill her stuff to full? Like, I feel like Garnet's just gonna die. Also, alternatively, here's the other reason why I had Ash in that slot. I get the whole thing about triggering the trance right away. I am not confident to survive the, uh, to, to beat the stone at the end. So I wanted my DPS in those slots. That was the other reason I did that. Sorry, it's all coming back to me. USB on Ash? Yes. Like, I, Garnet is mostly a support role. So here's the plan. Here is the general plan. I want to attempt to... Because I have Shantoto Arcane. So... The thing that we haven't properly gotten off yet is an arcane transition with chain up into that phase. I haven't been able to get that yet, but that's my plan. Let's see if I've obtained any good lightning boosting stuff in the meantime. In the interim. Weapon, 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 weapon. There, like, these are all attack. That's nothing. And I think that's just the highest mag booster.
All right. I think I ran Raider. This is not one of those things of just like, I don't remember. Uh, these bonus, or the bonus, these error noises are on me, not you. And then, yeah, all the supports have various water-reducing armor. Also on me. Alright. Let's... Get stupid. Minimize the emulator. Don't want to do that. Well, unfortunately, I don't have Warder uh, Apocrypt. I don't have Tyro's Astra. If I had Tyro's Astra, this would be way easier, yeah. Oh god, what order do these turns come in? I don't remember. Alright, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes and yes. We wing this. Right, that's a stun. This is fine.
Gotta think. It's time to, it's time to be a real gamer. It's time for Ash to die. Rip. Alright. What went wrong there? We have Ash defend on the first turn because she doesn't need to take that damage. And that that's free right there. She doesn't get a first turn anyway. Due to the uh the interrupt. So defending instead is the better option. Regurgitate is the big problem move here. I think part of it is this early phase is I should target those yeah I should target those to not heal those two so next time around target that to heal Tyro that way if it double casts I do that because and dead well That's wrong. A heal on Chantoto early. Whoa. Chunky. A heal on Chantoto early on. Uh, will give her. Some buffer HP. That might be a move to do. We'll see how Ash holds up otherwise. Because part of this is getting to. Uh, what's it called? It's getting to Lara's first USB. If we can pull that off, we'll be solid. Yeah, now in this scenario, Garnet's going to die. Unless we defend right now. Nope. Garnet dead. Wait. No, Elara dead.
Who could have seen this coming? This opener is the roughest part for now. If we can get past the opener reliably, we'll be good. The plan of dropping the the 2k shield on uh, Shantoto is perfect. That's exactly what we need. I think actually the other thing is we hold get hit by regurgitate while still defending. Then we go. Heal self. Regurgitate is gravity, so that doesn't help. Well, let me have my drink. What if we just double cast? And the next turn we roll around and we're going to use that, uh... There. When it All right, hop in the voice in a moment. What? Wait. Oh shit! The um... Yeah, the hyper mode makes it so she can't survive the drain. Drain is piercing, that doesn't matter. She survived my other attempts, so that's not it.
No, she was interrupted. That wasn't the drain. Like, the drain does do the interrupt. I don't get it. No. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out why she died right now because... Which is also fucking up the rest of my my game plan right here. I'm not hitting buttons properly. Um, because, yeah, in my... In my original runs, she doesn't die. I'll have to find that video. I'll have to go through my archive. Uh... Figure out why the fuck she died. Oh, don't worry. It was the drain because she had auto stun. Also, I, I have my own video recording. Don't worry. It's all good. Um... Yeah, no, that's weird. Do I have Onion Knight? No, I don't. Yeah, man, this guy's burst damage is legitimately just the only problems I have with this guy. All the rest of my damage is fine for the most part. And my survivability is fine for the most part. It's just when this guy burst damages me, I explode real bad. Like, see, once I get rolling, as you can see, once I get rolling, 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 I'm fine. Ah, I see. Okay. How am I doing? Well... Oh, that's right, you're a fucker that does this. This would be when I would drop the Shantoto move. There's that. Yeah, 
10 with no thing up. That's all she wrote. And that stone sucked ass. Can we all, like, be in agreement that his stone is the worst? That's good to know. Hey, we just did an experiment and... Yo. That's what Magicite numbers can do for you. Solving Shantoto and Alara might be the play, yeah. No, 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 I, I think you're actually... Or did you mean Shantoto and Ash? Maybe. Because Shantoto would proc her thing in the early game. Ash can tank the later one. Let's try that real quick. I'm not going to do a whole thing, I just want to see how that plays out. Are there any HP boons in the party? No. What are you doing? You're just a magic boost. Midgar, there are better options than you. Now to find out who has... HP boon. Hello. Welcome to the team. Midgar didn't have spell... Well, we have spell ward on the team, I believe. No, we don't. Or do we? Does Quetzalcoatl have spell ward? I don't think he does. No. Defense up. No, excuse me. Earth Guardian doesn't do anything for me. Aside from that. HP boon. What magicites have HP guard? HP boon. Is it just Earth Guardian? It might just be Earth Guardian. Or well, those spell boon. And you're a magic. You're a magic buff, too. Do I have anything with Damp and Dark? Well, there, yeah. I guess it's not really a real Damp and Dark. We can get the real Damp and Dark on the team. That has HP Boon. There we go. Damp and Dark. And then, like I said, let's run a quick test case real fast. My only concern is that I think he actually does it twice to slot one. That's my main concern. But if this runs properly...
Uh, I just want to see how this first hit goes, and then we're we're probably done with Magic Cipher today. I wanted to run a, eh. I wanted to run another test run with this party. So let's see what happens. Turn one. Dark two slot one. And blamo. Perfect. That's what I like to say. You regurgitate. We can use that turn to cast heal on Ash still. And then you do that and then people are dead, but that's because I don't have I don't have junk up. I don't have like walls and barriers and stuff up at that point. I believe Punch was generally doing 2k across the party. So. That's all we need to know. There we go. Probably run the weak damp and dark on Evray. Something more beneficial. Yeah, probably. But I'm I uh I am am whore leveling and farming magic site for passives. It's such a pain in the ass. Uh we prisoner said they were There you go. Honk. I will message V prisoner with connection red. That's weird. There you are. One moment. Hi, hello. Uh, okay, so the power went out in my house. It's going to take a while, but um, I Jerry rigged some bullshit up together, and now I'm coming to you live from a phone. Fantastic. I will never log off. All right. So, um, you still doing GS Giano, or are we moving on? No, we are moving on. I've okay. done. I've done my test runs. I'm going to actually run some stuff off stream. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um... One moment. I did manage I, to get the banners up, so... I am going to buff your audio a little bit, but I want I need to make a mental note of... Alright, two... In fact, let me just open a text pad on the, the computer so I can lower you back down. Afterwards. Yeah, like, do whatever you can for accommodations. This is, uh... It's kind of rough. That should be good. As long as you don't raise your voice too much. Absolutely. Okay. So... First banner. Item okay. one is Ash Awakening, which is 15 magic lightning, non elemental, infused with lightning, and enter Awoken Lightning Mode, doing your typical Awoken Mode stuff with a every third lightning ability with a follow up Sundering Bolt, which is a break damage cap. Yeah. It's kind of weird that they would put a uh, break damage cap thing along with the thing that just breaks damage cap innately. But there you go. It's also just kind of like a higher multiplier, so I guess the idea is like a full damage cap break instead of, you know, the sparse ones for normal awakenings. Well, it's because of the uh, standard thing that I've mentioned before is that a lot of awakenings are just USBs with awakening stuff attached to them. They're, I mean, this is just a brave, but more so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even more so when you put it that way. Uh, moving on, we got Whitest Whirl. 
which is all right. That's his wind over strike arcane. Yep, wind boosting dagger too. So always yep. helpful. There's a lot of people that like that. So yeah, moving on. We have Ashes Ultra Two. Ten magic lightning on elemental to random targets. Temporarily infused with the power of lightning. Temporarily cause users lightning abilities to reduce delay of magical actions of all allies in the rear row. Cause every third lightning ability for your trigger a follow up. Celestial bolt, which temporarily raises lightning attack of all allies by one. This is really good. It's a very supporty offensive. Yeah, I really appreciate the uh, supporty touch. Just um, it is constantly doing stuff and it also has like a steady ramp up as you go so like even without chains or anything it is boosting your damage considerably as the fight goes on yeah uh gonna get a fucking uh oh time to make the potions what the fuck is, how do you pronounce this scintillating, scintillating. there we go Instantly restored to store a large amount of HP to all allies, reduce the delay of their actions for two turns, temporarily cause users white magic and support abilities to trigger a follow-up prodigious stratagem, restoring one HP, one K HP to all allies, and Asuna. Yeah, uh, this is a great, like, Asuna Chaser, sign me the fuck up. I, I love that stuff. Um, this is also a, a triple casting speed for all allies for two turns. Yep. And yeah, this is a fantastic follow-up for his USB one. Yep, it is a uh, wrathable medica. Anytime you use this. Yeah, the whole idea being just like you are constantly trying to um, move on from stuff that you get hit with, as opposed to preventing stuff from happening with his USB one, which can be a little tricky to maneuver around since you know. You don't want stuff happening to Larsa so that he can continue to cast white magic to pop the chase. Exactly. Uh, Relentless Drive. Veins Brave. Deal 10 physical or magic. Dark non-elemental to one enemy. Temporarily infused with power dark. Remove delay of actions for all allies for one turn. Temporarily grant brave mode to the user. And set bravery level to two. Attack depends on the user's stats. It is an overstrike based on darkness abilities. This one is very, very good for what it sets out to do, just because Vayne is a fantastic hybrid. So this one can just be used uh, in either Medin or Lakshmi, and um, a good part is it's also a very supporty one. Without sacrificing the in dark, you get the party instant cast one, so that you can instantly use your darkness ability to ramp it up to level three and then pop the brave from there. Yeah, exactly. So much versatility in this one. Uh, Calamitous Orb. <laughs> which is wind, wind boosting pants. Instantly deal 10 range physical wind to one enemy. Reduce their magic and defense a large amount and temporarily reduce the delay of the user's thief abilities. Grant them brave at rank 2. This is a debuff based with this is level 0 doing just damage. Level 1 is 3 hits with a defense breakdown. Level 2 is 6 hits with a defense breakdown. And level 3 is 10 hits with a mag defense mind crush. This one is... Um, the Brave is a completely unique debuff. We're not talking about, like, the Sildra and Adamantwas debuff. We're talking about just, like, Death Magic and Mind is a completely unique debuff. I'm dying a little bit because I don't know if it's what your if your phone's doing this, but it is auto correcting your voice at times. Wait, seriously? Yeah. So sometimes you will start out a sentence very loud and then over the course of the sentence you get very quiet. Still audible. <laughs> still audible, but just way quieter than when you started the sentence. Okay, we'll just we'll, we'll just roll with it. Um yeah, so this one uh, is a little hard to get working with his USB 1 specifically because um, it already has the Thief instant. Like, it's doing its own uh, cast time mana on Thief, but USB 1, if you have it, already makes that instant. Um, so it's kind of weird to combo those together. Uh, this one do does just fine on its own, though. Um, that's a 15 se second uh, cast time reduction, so that works really well for getting those breaks down immediately yes uh 
I just buffed you up a little bit, so we're gonna see how loud you are next time you start talking, but it's fine. Nice. It, yeah, like this right. kind of got Jerry rigged together in like five minutes, so it, it's cool. Okay, wait, hold up. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do an experiment real quick. Say something. Uh, yeah. What's up? Just keep going. Yeah. Uh. So I'm just looking at Penelope's USB two, and I'm thinking to myself. Damn, they really pulled White Mage Dancer out of the gutter that it was in. Uh, yeah, because it's an instant, uh, large HP heal, remove the delay of actions of all allies for one turn, and temporarily cause uses dance abilities to trigger a follow-up cure step, which is a weak medica, but it's a weak medica based off Dancer, so you can easily, if you are jumping into the torment, run her as a debuffer and have her synergize perfectly with Larsa. Yeah. So the idea is, she doesn't really have any special effects to go along with the raw healing, because the ability for her to continue debuffing with dances is the special effect. Uh, not to mention, her dive is 35% chance to Medica off of dance, and that combos with Cure Step, so you can just, um, you have a 35% chance to double up on Medicas, basically. It's great. Yeah. Alright, Glenn time. Larsa Cloak. Uh, temporarily grant all the allies barrier that enables them to move, to avoid one debuff and as soon to them. It's just Astra on hot on command. It's great. Did you know that Larsa is the debuff boy? Yes. Uh, Von Glint, which is deal six wind and actually imperil one increase wind attack by one. So. Normally I get on the case of these increased wind attack by one things, but the fact that this has the imperil attached to it, I actually don't mind. Yeah, it's a good trade-off. Also, this is them really trying hard to dance around his USB 1 still, but they'll eventually give up and give him an in win. Yep. Uh, El Mars, Chosen Future, small chance for lightning ability to deal three magic lightning to a hit. And restore 100 and f 100, 1, yeah, 1500 HP to an ally. This is really good for keeping allies I alive. I like this it's one more a lot because it's so it's her interesting. It, it's sort of her command one for her from her BSB, but on a chaser. Yeah, it's it's really fascinating. Yeah, it's really cool. Also, hello. Okay. We are doing our banner review right now. Uh, small chance for white magic abilities to temporarily grant the user a barrier. Grant? Wait. Yeah, this is a self Astra off of white. Weird. This is also the reason, like, this is supposed to be what you combo his USB 2 with. So, you know, remember how I said you want some way to keep Larsa from getting hit by status ailments so that he can help everybody else with his chaser. Well, that's what they give you. Yeah. It's, it, mm. This one's a bit, like, I'm going to say, I'm going to go up to bat for this one. I would say that it is a, a bit more consistent, especially if you are going off of his USB 2. It's a bit weird on its own, though, and to say nothing of the fact that he already has an LMR1 that gives Astra to other characters for single targets, but this one procs off of any white, Medica or single target. Yeah, I guess there is a, a, a bit of an argument in that regard. Uh, yeah. Also, thank you for the follow. Uh, moving on, we got Bathe in Blood in Dark. Out of that. Good for Vayne. And then we have Tactless Thief. It is Double Cast Thief. He's needed this for a while. They're finally starting to give up about like dancing around Vaughn's USB 1. We swear, Vaughn's still not an element. We don't think he's an element. He <sighs> well, Pinello's Double Cast White. Fair, because she has a because her LM2 works so well with her dancing stuff. Mm -hmm. All in all, this is a very excellent banner. Like, 
yes, Fest is right around the corner. It's going to have plenty of awakenings to spare, but um, nobody's going to fault you for just like throwing one pull or something on this one, especially if you just need lightning tech or healing tech. It's an extremely solid banner with a lot of really interesting things on it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's great. There's great torment tech on here that can, like, obviously, uh, here we go. The the Pinello USB is fantastic for just synergizing really well with having anything on Larsa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's a it's a very solid banner to go for. Nothing against this banner. It's not in a weird spot or anything. Well, it, its only weird spot is that Fest is like... You know, I never did an outro <laughs> for the, uh, <laughs> the thing. Remembering that that was literally when I was going to look up when Fest is supposed to start because I feel like there won't be an event this week. Hold up. I heard tell that they are going to do keep doing events this time. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to peep um, this real fast. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, also, okay. just stuff like... Uh, okay, where there's six. There's a sixth event this... Or this is either six or four. My Roman numerals are goofing up right now. Uh, that's if four. If it's going to be six, we can have a little, a little laugh about it. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a four event coming up, and then the week of... Fest starting, which is next week. Um, okay, weird. Okay, this is how it's weird. Fest is going to start up, and then there is an event going to drop. It's FF9, and it drops on Saturday. Whack. And then there's an FF3 event that drops on Friday, and then they go back to Thursday drops. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, okay. Alright. So you're just uh, trying to load up Banner 2? Yeah, yeah, there. Ooh. Un momento. Ooh, so that, yeah, that's... I don't have my hold, normal... Hold that thought, hold that thought. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to lower this a little bit. It was extremely loud. Ah, I see. And with your variable audio... With your variable audio system going on right now. I probably wouldn't be able to hear you over most of it. Steve Jobs didn't die so that I could accidentally fuck up this phone call. Yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Here we got a gun. It's gun. Fire boosting gun with uh, overstrike for a ball here. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Arcane, arcane out of 10. Uh, fire boosting gun is very nice for him. Um, although, I mean, plus element artifacts are now in, so a little bit less hard to go for, but still nice. Do you remember that, uh, I, I want to say it's like six star, six star relics can still outdo some artifacts if you have them in synergy yeah pretty much it's just a matter of like if you get the arcane and it's a plus thingo in something that you need coverage in then great you don't have to use the artifact anymore but you also can fulfill with an artifact absolutely mm -hmm. uh, sliding on we got the torn saw. The blade of Lemon, Le the blade of legend, which is uh, arcane, lightning boosting sword, arcane. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, you're real tall. I, I, I really want this. Yeah, Baldur's used me too. So good. Oh no, I was talking about the, the fucking turn us all. That would uh, solve all of my torment problems, or magicite. Sorry. Anyway, uh, edge of treachery. Is ten range, physical fire, non elemental, temporarily reduce the use the tempor temporarily lower the fire resistance by two and temporarily cause every second machinist ability to trigger a follow up oil pellet, lowering resistance level by one. It is Baltier's good USB. One of the best fire reducing 
USBs out there. Also, because Balthier's dive is 35% chance to imperil fire off of Machinist. Yeah. It's good. It's, it's good. It's good. Uh, next up, Sun Dalmasca. Uh, Busca. It, it, it's shout with a lightning reflect ba uh, barrier on it. Yeah, it's, it's shout with lightning thorns, and it really kind of lives or dies by the lightning thorns also, because shout is still pretty fucking staple. Yep. Um, sliding on. We have... Hey, it's Hyper Mighty G. Yep, Hyper Mighty Guard. It's, it's fine, it's good. Yeah. Like, Bosch kind of had to be a pack mule for buffs or something, I guess, because they couldn't really figure out what to do with them. Someone in the realm had to do it. Uh-huh. It's also something very important for 12, because 12's buffs are kind of um, dire. So this is one of the few really good buffing suites that 12 has. Yeah. Uh, Frost Purge is 10 range physical dark. Uh, in dark and temporary grant one additional heavy charge when you use a when you gain heavy charge. Brave mode set to two. Uh, dark ability based. The attacks are heavy physical over strike type. Yeah, it's good. It's um, good. One of the things that makes it good is Gabrant's dark heavy access is uh, very solid and it can just like play into. A whole bunch of stuff that he can do with heavy. He can either just like run evil swing and rely on the brave for overstrike, or he can double up on the overstrike with evil press. Yeah, and the other, as Furry in chat uh, points out, uh, the other little thing about this that is really nice is that you don't even really need to run dark heavy in order to make this work. It runs off dark abilities, period, so this does actually proc off of darkness. Yeah. You're not getting like, the full very nice. of the dark heavy, but if you already have a dark heavy user, I think there's other dark heavy users. Cloud, uh, yeah, Garland. He's rude. Um, exists. Rider Rock. Imperium's Edict. Ten magic lightning, non elemental. Infused with lightning, raise mag resistance thirty percent, and you trigger a follow up lightning sigil based on whose hits are based on the number of the ability rank that triggers it. It's, Rank chasers are always good. Yeah, and it's all it's just good for building chains. Mm -hmm. uh, those chasers aren't going to do a ton of damage, but it's you know it's bonus. It's bonus. Yep. Glints. We got Fleetfoot, which is in a tempoed no, quick cast in power infusion. See, I always say tempo as in a speed sort of thing, so that's why I always want to call these tempo. Uh, yeah, yeah, like that's a that's valid either way. It's yeah. just like go for tempo because you know hits. Yes, but uh, quick cast empowered, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, here we have quick cast empowered for lightning for Ash, also fine. Yep, works good. Uh, in two legend material, we have in fire for Balthier. Yep, fine. Okay. Have small chance to restore moderate HP to one ally proportional to the max HP when using Spellblade. This kind of interesting. Is... Also, his dive is a 35% double cast Spellblade anyway, so he's fine on that front. Uh, this one's just more of a callback to his uh, burst that yeah. had that command. I really like this. Also, Bone Mail. Yeah. How can you turn down Bone Mail? How can uh... you turn down Bone Mail? Oh, wait, because it's on a different game. That's why. <laughs> In Holy for Bosch, it's fine. Fine. I think this is, yeah. No, this is double cast dark. It's a weird but workable. Like, it depends on if you have what sort of tech you have for Gabronth. It's oh, a bit remember. more awkward on his dark heavy side. Yeah, if you're doing dark heavy with Gabronth, this is weird because double casting dark heavy is very odd. It doesn't really work. Uh, on normal darkness abilities, this is fine, though. Mm hmm. And then I think, yeah, this is Enlightening on Ash, also perfectly feasible. Uh, just, at, you know, our typical older items on the second banner, banner. 
There's a lot of like, on this. There's a lot of fire and lightning on this. Yeah, like, the thing to remember is that um, it was a bit easier to sell Banner 1 with Fest approaching, but it was still kind of a hard sell because Fest is approaching. Yeah, so this is Banner a, 2 is... Mm. This is a very, I'm a, a very easy pass for me with Fest coming up. Yeah. And a dud. Nice. Anyway. Oh, right. We also have one more banner. Do we? We do. Well, hold up. I'm loading. Happy Final Fantasy VII Remake, everyone. Here's trash. <coughs> oh, I forgot. You get things off of these. You get lenses off of these. Yeah, so every little bit helps. All right. We're going to burn through this one real fast. I'm even really looking at them because there's nothing new on this. But, um... So we got... There's a bunch of statements. Yeah, yeah, we got Cloud Arcane out of 10. Wind Arcane. Plus Wind Sword, yeah. We got, uh... Sephiroth Arcane out of 10. Plus Dark Katana. Notable. Yeah. Uh, here's Cloud USB. It exists. It's still real. It's never going away. Yeah, still will. Still your friend. Uh, Climber Rage is a pretty good chaser if i remember right yeah yeah like uh it also breaks damage cap the chaser like yeah. if you're able to make a really whack setup with it then yeah sure speaking also, of breaking it's a plus one bracer speaking of breaking damage cap zanshin is here it's really solid really good um a much more uh balanced version of cloud usb one yep uh bear usb is also real yeah, I can't remember what this does. I actually have to read this one real quick. 15 range, fire dark, and defense resistance crush. Okay, yeah, and remove it. Yeah, no, fine, yeah. Yep, make your team instant cast along with the crush is good make stuff. Make your team do big damage for a turn. Uh, innocent Cure is that really good physical DPS. Yeah, it's the good physical DPS. Gives you triple cast for three turns and guts for physical attacks. Yep. Uh, Mako Power is in win, empowered infusion win for Cloud. Tempo Glint, yep. Burst is here. I'm not even Burst gonna, are here. I'm not even going to acknowledge this. I'm not going to acknowledge either of those. Uh, Sephiroth BSB2 is also a plus dark katana, though. I, yeah. I guess that's fine. Double cast win on Cloud because we're sorry. That's the good one, yeah. Uh, begin in dark for Sephiroth. Yeah. Good. Drill arm is deal significantly more physical damage with gun. Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. I mean, his USB is a gun arm, so fine, fuck it, whatever. Whatever. Uh, double cast white for Aerith. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's an okay banner. It's okay. It's half cost. Hey. If you have so, nothing on here, pool, it's half cost. So here's the other thing, too. It's just um, when we are moving into Fest, the luckies that we are going to be getting are physical USBs. Magical USBs and healing medica USBs. See how any of those three stack up with this. That's fair. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> but uh, I'm not full. Boy. That was a glint lucky. Nice. Okay. I'll Still pull. Though. I'll pull on the glint lucky. It's me, the madman. It's me, the glint boy. Anywho. That's uh, probably where we will call this stream for today. Uh, hey, YouTube. Thanks for hanging out. I forgot to do an outro before, but whatever. <laughs> I'll cut a video weird. Later, YouTube.